how to create a Telegram bot. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to create your own custom bot in Telegram, and this will work on both mobile and desktop, and you don't need any previous coding experience. So the very first thing we're going to do is click on the search box and go and search for the word bot father. You then need to click on this top one with the blue tick, which is verified. And this is how we start to set up our bot. So go and click on the start button at the bottom and then go and type in to the search box forward slash new bot and then go and press enter. Now we'll need to go and create a name for our bot. So I'm just going to call mine your fix guide, but you can call yours whatever you want. And then we need to set a username for our bot as well. Now this name must end in the word bot. So you can see there's an example here, Tetris bot or Tetris underscore bot. So I'm just going to call mine your fix guide bot and then press enter. Now what you'll need to do is go and copy this token API. So I'm just going to simply click on this to copy all of the text. And now what we need to do is actually go and start creating our custom bot. So we're going to come back over to the search box and you need to search for menu builder bot and press enter. You can then click on this top one, which is menu builder bot. So you can see that this bot will help you do a bunch of different things. This can create menus, mailing, feedback forms, and a bunch of other stuff. So once again, just click on the start button at the bottom. And if you want to change your language, you can just go and select the language from the list. So I'm going to click on English and then go and press manage bots. You can then press add menu bot and then go and paste in the API key that we copied previously and press enter. And just like that, it's going to create this bot. Now from here, go and click on your bot's username. So mine's your fix guide bot over here and then go and click on start. So this is where we can go and set up the menu for our bot. So I'm gonna click on admin in the bottom navigation, scroll all the way down and click on message for start. You can then go and set up an automated message for your bot. So I'm just going to type in, hi, I am your fix guide bot and then go and press enter. You can then press save message. Now scroll down and click on exit admin and click on buttons editor. You can then click on add button and then go and enter a name for this button. So I'm just going to call mine menu and press enter. Now to go and edit this button, we can simply click on it from the list. You can then click on posts editor and click on add message. So now you can go and upload whatever you want to this button. So when someone clicks it, it will send them that particular thing. So I'm going to upload an image like so and then press send you can then go and press stop editor so now what's going to happen is when we click on this menu button it's going to automatically send that photo that we just uploaded and you can basically upload anything here so you can upload videos or sound files it's entirely up to you and let's say you wanted to go and add a question to this button as well or well, you can click on buttons editor select your button from the list and click on post editor now click on menu again and select add question so let's go and select single answer question and now go and type in your question so I could write in which type of image do you like and then go and press send you can then click on stop editor and you can then press cancel so I'll show you what this looks like so when someone clicks your button you can see it will ask them the question which type of image do you like and let's say they type in number one you can see that this response is now being recorded now you have the option to ban the user as well by clicking this button you can also click on notify and you can now go and send something to the user who's answered this question. So let's say I wanted to go and upload another image. I can then press send. And as you can see, this is now successfully being sent to the user. So you can basically just play around with the different features here to go and customize and create your own custom bot. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful.